After you create a pivot table in Excel, you might add new data to the source data. And we'll see a couple of problems that can occur when you do that and how to fix them. So here's our pivot table. We have six products and we can see the total quantity that was sold for each of those products. On this sheet, we have the orders that are being summarized in the pivot table. We can see the date, the day of the week, and the products. There are six different products and all of those are currently showing up in the pivot table. We're going to put a new product, binders, at the bottom. So I'll enter the data for that order and then we'll go and refresh the pivot table. So I'm going back to the pivot table sheet and I'll right click and refresh. And binder shows up with the 50 quantity, but it's at the bottom of the list instead of in alphabetical order. So when you add new items, sometimes they appear at the bottom of the list on the worksheet. And also if we look at the drop down, the new item might be in the wrong order there. So we'll click OK. And to fix that, you just have to sort the list here. So I'll go to the data tab and just click A to Z. It appears in alphabetical order here. And if I look at the drop down list, it has been fixed there as well. So we'll click OK. So that's the first problem is that things appear out of order when you add new items. And another problem is that sometimes the items don't appear at all when you refresh the pivot table. I'm going to filter this list of products. I don't want to see all of them. I'm going to take out some of these paper products. So I don't want to see the envelopes or folders or the paper. And I'll click OK. So those are the four products that are left. And I'm going to go back to the order sheet and put in another new product. And this time we're going to start selling staplers. So I'll add one order for that. Now I'll go back to the order pivot table and refresh. And even though there's an order in there for staplers, it's not showing up in the pivot table. And that's because the pivot table is filtered. If I look at the drop down, go right to the bottom, staplers is there in the list, but it doesn't have a check mark, so it doesn't show up automatically. So I could add a check mark here and that would show it. The reason it's not automatically checked is because of a pivot table setting. So I'm going to check that here, click OK. It's in the list now. I would like any new items to automatically appear in this product list, even if the list is filtered. So I'm going to right click and go to field settings. And this is a setting for that product field. And there's a checkbox here under filter that says include new items in manual filter. So I'll check that and click OK. And now if we add a new item, it will automatically appear here if the list is filtered. We won't have to go in and manually check that item. And to test that, we'll add another item to the orders. So highlighters is the new item. I'll go back and refresh the pivot table and it automatically showed up. It's in the correct order because we sorted the product field and it was automatically checked even though we had the filter applied because we changed the field setting for the product field. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.